What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and it's your tea addicted gamer, Sam or Dodge. I'm giving you gameplay commentary on the map Hijack. Sam, stop playing on Hijacked! God's sake, even though I'm admitting myself that Hijack has to be the game. Well, it's, it's really a suited game um, game map. It's uh, the design for like this game is quite um, brilliant with um, that. I go 40 and 16 or something, uh, just, you know, using the submachine gun. On this map, what I do, I tend to do is... Um, Use the submachine guns and try and get in the enemy's faces a lot. And that's what she said. Why would you in the faces? I don't know, Sam! But, um, yes, guys, um, there's a gameplay there if you want to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, no can do, guys. So what I'm here to talk about is, is about the next-gen consoles. There you go, guys. Next-gen consoles will be around the corner. And uh, with next-gen consoles around, coming around the corner, I can't wait. I really can't wait for next-gen consoles. Why, Sam? Why, indeed? Mainly because, you know, next-gen consoles, well, I just can't wait for them. Because, you know... We live in the 21st century, and with the 21st century, you know, there's going to be a lot of things going on. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things, you know. Uh, the 21st century is going to, you know, have, like, amazing... Gra you think with the 21st century, you're going to have amazing, get, you know, get graphics on your consoles, you're going to have amazing graphics on your PC, and, you know, still on that intelligent stage of, you know, we know what we want to do, but is it going to happen, for example? And that's the thing, guys. Um, just a quick note, guys, that, you know, this is my thought on what should be these ne next-gen consoles, and, you know, that, and I've got some, you know, rumours, and, you know, listen to other commentaries and, you know, commentators about the next-gen consoles. For example, um, I know, you know, Sony will always, always, um, Sony and Microsoft are the two, you know, next-gen consoles, guys. Um, I see Microsoft and Sony doing reasonably well. My, Sony do a little bit worse than Microsoft points. Uh, M Microsoft, I don't know why. Is it in particular? I think it's the market, maybe, or something. Um, I think Sony have shown in the past if you make a, you know, a, a portable gaming device, it's going to do worse. You know, it might sell for a bit, but you know, you, you do it does worse for a bit because you know, guys, you can't always rely on stuff something like that. That is, you know. Um, you know, PSPs, for example. Uh, I see Nintendo struggling. If you know, if um, these new gen consoles come out, I, I know in Nintendo did not brilliantly this year uh, with the Wii U coming out. But you know, Nintendo, what are you gonna do? You know, I I, I do feel sorry, Nintendo. Uh, when the Wii Wii came out, everyone was like, yeah. But then you know, Xbox come out with the Xbox Connect, and the Sony come out with a PlayStation Move, and you know, I think that's gonna struggle. But the thing I want the most. Is you know been rewarded by the consoles and all that. I know Apple are after you know Apple is always going to be a big competitor in this market. So you know the market is a very good market. This gaming market. Why Sam? Mainly because it it produces millions and millions. Well, it produces jobs. Jobs is really good for you know for the world. Um, it produces you know money and all that lot. And you know produces entertainment. I see Apple doing some sort of um, you know gaming thing. Um, Maybe in a late late span, but I don't. I do see, um, you know, Apple doing something with um, the gaming market. Maybe, may, maybe um, new gen console. I don't know something like a Steam. Steam. Well, Steam. If Steam have a next gen console, that'd be epic. I would buy a Steam, you know, machine. But um, if I had the choice of buying a next gen console, it would be very hard to choose. Uh, mostly because um, the next gen consoles are pretty much. Um, you know, not brilliant, but, you know, you got to deal with them, really, <laughs> as I said, guys. But, um, you know, I don't know about the next-gen consoles um, and that, guys. But I just, I just, it's something that I really want to talk about because, you know, the future is not far away, guys. The future is still, you know, around the corner. I said, I, I, I'm giving a prediction that 2013, 2014, next-gen consoles will be here. Uh, we'll be seeing them in 3D graphics, and, you know, we'll be wearing glasses. I think the f couple things they need to do with the consoles and, you know, to improve your gaming experience. Okay, gamer score or trophies could be spent as, you know, points, like Microsoft points or Sony PSN, you know, points or whatever. For your avatar, you know, buying games, um, you know, buying, you know, DLC, you know, make your set, make point these trophies or uh, achievements worth you know grinding out for getting you know the achievements for because you know we don't we don't play like and that and you will make more money so if, for example oh i'm going to buy six games and i'm going to try and do all the story modes and all the achievements by a week and um yeah you know people will do that and you know you, they spent at least 200 pounds their own money 
and you know the gaming companies are not la are laughing at them because you know that's why guys because you need to do is to have a trophy system or achievement system that you get you're rewarded by playing a certain amount of hours and grinding out for you know playing a game that you know for example I don't know guys it's just a little bit another thing is like a Google Hangout kind of thing like um like on Xbox you can have like a window in the corner with you playing um, as a webcam kind of thing and I know I fly alive would like that oh hey but um yeah guys that'd be quite cool I wouldn't mind that you know intervening in front that's more social kind of thing I know Pierce um, Sony in particular don't really are not a social group if you don't know um, Sony don't really like the party chat kind of thing I think Sony needs to improve on that if Sony improve on that that'd be brilliant I think that would be really good for Sony I think Sony needs to improve that and probably on the PlayStation um, you know on the main menu thing I play PlayStation 4 and um, the main menu is not brilliant as I said guys but um yeah guys this is my thoughts about the next gen consoles guys uh, put in the comments down below guys um, your thoughts about the next gen consoles and you know how can they be improved maybe you know frames per second or something or because um you know frames per second is also important i think quite a lot of people are interested about frames per second but you know if you're interested about frames per second your version but only joking but um thanks guys um about this you know commentary and if you like the commentary guys you can please like it always really helps guys um this is my thoughts on the next gen consoles i don't really I'm a bit scared of what's going to happen to the next gen consoles, but if you guys, you know, it's just going to be a one scary ride, but we're going to take it one step at a time. I don't know what's going to happen to these next gen consoles, but, you know, it'll be a pretty good experience. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, always really helps. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And don't forget, all guys, also follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. This has been your Tea Addicted Gamer. Thanks, guys. Bye.